Liberia's national nightmare caused by the devastating Ebola crisis is finally coming to an end, over a year and more than 4,000 lives later. The number of confirmed Ebola cases is dwindling to zero, and the nationwide panic is stabilizing. This, according to Karen Langren, the head of the UN mission in Liberia, or UNMIL, who spoke with the UN News Service earlier this you, week. It's been 14 months of uh, a national nightmare at times, uh, especially last August when uh, the country felt like it was teetering on the brink and panic was rising, anger was, was rising, and no one had seen an epidemic like this before. It was very hard to know what to do. As Liberia begins its rebound from the Ebola crisis, a host of political and security challenges lie ahead for the West African country especially as UNMIL prepares its imminent drawdown, says Langren. Much will be at stake for Liberia over the next two years. Liberia's own next political watershed moment is its presidential election in 2017, when President Johnson Sirleaf will step down after two terms. And the number one priority is in strengthening Liberia's own security sector to take over responsibilities from UNMIL. This week, the United Nations commemorated the end of the Second World War in Europe 70 years ago. Secretary General Ban Ki-moon and General Assembly President Sam Kutesa planted a tree symbolizing peace and unity at UN headquarters to remember the conflict's tens of millions of victims. In establishing the United Nations 70 years ago, the founders planted the seeds of our organization. They hoped they lead the human family out of horror and into a better future. The soil at that time ran deep with blood. There is much distance still to travel until the seed sown seven decades ago blossomed into lives of dignity and peace for all. Following the ceremony, member states spoke at a special session of the General Assembly. The Second World War and the unprecedented crime of the Holocaust not only cost Europe dozens of millions of human lives and devastated great parts of the continent. The war also left Europe deeply divided for more than four decades. On the 8th of May, 1945, Germany surrendered to the Allies, bringing the war in Europe to its conclusion. Three months later, the war in the Pacific ended with Japan's surrender. The United Nations was founded from the ashes of the war, the deadliest in history, to unite the global community in the pursuit of peace for succeeding generations. Secretary General Bonn is among the dignitaries attending ceremonies in Poland, Ukraine and Russia to commemorate the 70th anniversary of the end of the war. A new round of dialogue aimed at ending the conflict in Syria began in Geneva this week, but the man leading the talks, UN Special Envoy Staffan de Mistura, wants to keep international expectations low. These are not yet peace talks. These are closed low-key, separate, structured discussions with the parties to consult on the current crisis in Syria, the possible road ahead, and the final destination. This is the necessary groundwork before even we get to a negotiating table. The meetings aim to find where the different parties to the conflict stand and to pave the way towards formal peace talks in the future. There is no cut-off date. This is a rolling process which will be expanded as necessary with additional actors to be consulted as we move along. By end of June, we'll assess progress on this stock taking of views and decide on the next steps. And it is possible that these consultations will continue beyond that date. The conflict in Syria, which is now in its fifth year, has claimed more than 220 thousand lives.